YouTube, it's Zoe or Read by Zoe, and I'm here to participate in Readathon by Zoe round two. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you don't know what round one was, at the beginning of May, I decided to challenge myself to read as much as I could in 24 hours, and I vlogged the entire experience. A lot of people, a surprisingly large amount of people watched that vlog and really enjoyed it and wanted me to do it again so that they could join in. So that's what I'm doing today. Technically tomorrow, Saturday, July 15th is when the 24 hours is taking place, which is in nine minutes. It's 11.51 p.m. This time though, I'm challenging myself even further because I am planning on staying up for the next 24 hours and I'm planning on reading the entire time. Last time I slept for about seven hours. I went to bed at 4 a.m. after I finished a book and then I woke up at 11 a.m. and I wasted those seven hours. Think of all the reading I could have done in that time. I could have I could have read an entire book but I decided to sleep like a weakling. No sir that is not happening this time. I am going to stay awake. This sounds like a bad idea when I'm saying it out loud, especially because I'm already kind of tired. I wanted to nap before I started this readathon, but I was so excited about the readathon that I couldn't sleep. I think I slept for about half an hour, so I'm going to be running on half an hour of sleep for the next 24 hours. Ha 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 ha. Mm. I don't know exactly what books I want to read during the readathon. I'm more of a mood reader. I like to pick up what I'm feeling in that moment because that inspires me to actually finish the book. I don't like sticking to solid TBRs, but I will tell you that I really want to finish, let me get it, The Gentleman's Guide, here's the cover, The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. I just started this book and I'm really liking it so far. The audiobook is narrated by the first Tom Riddle from Chamber of Secrets, the movie. His voice is like butter. It is so amazing. It is now 11.55, five minutes until the readathon starts. I'm getting kind of antsy. I'm getting really excited. Whoa, should I make coffee? I, I'm really hype right now, so I probably shouldn't make coffee, but I know this is just pure adrenaline and it's going to run out soon. So maybe I should make some as a preventative measure. We'll make some tea. We'll be safe. We'll make some tea. <laughs> I was trying to take artsy footage of my tea brewing for the vlog, but it just hit 12 o'clock. I need to go to start reading. I need to read. Okay, um, bye. Wait, my tea? No, we're good. Let's start reading. <sighs> I think I'm going to start with a contemporary. I was going to go straight to the gentleman's guide, but I want to save the audiobook because I'm planning on doing some fun things later. I'm planning on going to the beach in the early morning with my dad since I'll be awake in the early morning. I'm usually a late riser, so it's going to be quite weird. So I'm gonna read a contemporary. These are my TBR shelves, so this is what I have to pick from. We have Always and Forever Lara Jean, which is kind of sad that I still have yet to read this because in the last video, the last readathon video, I made a big deal about it not coming in the mail because it was supposed to come in the mail that day because I pre-ordered it. It's after 10. And Always and Forever, Laura Jean still didn't show up, but I still haven't read it, so maybe I should read it. It's kind of short, so I think I can read it. Oh, I need to be kind of quiet. Everyone else is asleep in my house, but it's kind of short. It's contemporary. I can fly through it. This is going to be the first read of Readathon by Zoe Round 2. Oh, my tea is brewed. Let's get the tea and start reading. It's already 12.05 and I have yet to read a single word. My goodness, who am I? I'm failing already. I have my tea, I have some water, and I have some Cheez-Its. Mmm, Cheez-Its. I promptly spilled this tea all over the floor though because I was running to my room to start reading. I cleaned that up, obviously. I'm going to go into the bath. I promised myself that this time I wouldn't take as many baths as I did during the last readathon vlog, but let's be honest, it's me during a readathon. I'm going to take a lot of baths because that's where I do the best reading. I We'll talk to you all after the bath, obviously, because I'm not going to bed. Not today. I started running my bath and I had all of my snacks and my drinks set up, but I forgot my book. It is 
7 in the morning. I am just over halfway through Always and Forever Lara Jean. I got myself some chocolate pie and I made myself a coffee because I'm starting to fade a little bit. It's very appropriate eating pie while reading this book. Lara Jean would be proud. I really want these books to be adapted into movies because I think that would work so well, especially this one. Hey everyone, Future Zoe speaking here. Actually, a few days after filming this, it was announced that To All the Boys I've Loved Before is being adapted into a movie right as we speak. They are filming. I'm so excited. Surprise, surprise. I'm crying again over a book. It is 4.30 a.m. and I just finished Always and Forever Lara Jean and it was so good. It's my favorite of the Lara Jean books and there's just so much emotion in this and I was so invested in this story. I don't know why. I was just like, I need to know what happens. Now I don't know what to read next. I just was so into that story. I want more. But that's the end of the trilogy. Back to the TBR shelves. This is not a book. <laughs> These are tarot cards for The Raven Cycle by Maggie Seabotter. They're really cool, but I don't know why I have it on my TBR shelf. What do I read? <laughs> there are too many options. I think that's the problem. I know I sound terrible. Like, I have too many books to choose from, but that's how I'm feeling right now. I kind of want to read a fantasy or paranormal book since I just read Always in Forever Lara Jean, which is a contemporary. Ooh, we have the Archived by Victoria Schwab. This is a young adult fantasy paranormal novel? I'm not sure, but it's pretty short. I haven't read any Victoria or V.E. Schwab before, even though, as you can see over here, I own quite a few of her books, but I haven't read any yet. This is perfect. Also, I need to wipe off this mascara because I look dead. I feel kind of dead but now the outside matches the inside. Back to my dining room table with awful lighting. It is 4.46 a.m. and I'm starting book two. I decided that desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm not one for energy drinks, but I went to Target earlier and I stocked up on a few energy drinks. Is that a garbage truck or something outside? I don't know. Why are people awake at this hour? I don't know. 4 a.m. is like, this time should not exist. Gonna take the plunge. <sniffs> also, P.S. I know these are terrible for you. I don't normally drink these. It is 6.16 in the morning. I'm on page 67 of the archived. The first 20 pages were kind of info dumpy, which makes sense because you're learning all about this new system and histories and the archive and all of that. But I was kind of confused at the beginning because of all the new terminology but now we are through the info dump i don't know if you can hear but the birds just started chirping and the sun is rising i am never up this early this is so weird like this is morning people wake up at this time naturally what? Anyway, my dad is going to wake up soon because he is a morning person. He's one of those weirdos who wake up naturally at like 5 or 6 a.m. And we are going to go to the beach. I love the beach. I would go every single day if I could. I'm going to try to get to page 100 before we leave. Also, I think the energy drink worked because I just got my second wind. It's like stars exploding. Say hello. Say hello. Ha ha ha. It is 7.07 a.m. My dad obviously woke up and we put on some suits. I put on sunscreen because I don't want to burn even though I probably still will burn with the sunscreen. I know I'm going to have way more freckles at the end of this day than I started with because that's what my face does. We're listening to the audiobook for The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue and he, he didn't listen to the first part so I'm pretty sure he's a little bit confused but I really like this audiobook. Sped it up to 1.25 speed so it says that I will be done with it in eight hours. Oh, I didn't get to page 100 in the archived. I'm on page 81. So, I mean, I got a little bit further in that. Ah, I didn't know the sun was this bright in the morning. I thought morning was a time of darkness and sadness.
creatures of the surf. Raccoon. <laughs> what? Look at our sweet setup. Yes, perfect. We're at the beach, but we are not in the sun, so I won't get too burnt. We just got to the beach 0.2 seconds ago and I'm already sweating because I'm disgusting. My dad is going on a walk. It was nice knowing you. You are now one with the sea. I'm going to read more of the archive, but first I'm going to dip my feet in the water because you can't go to the beach and not at least put your feet in the water. It's probably a bad idea to have the camera in the water. Okay, bad idea. I moved my chair down to the shore so I can have my feet in the water as I read and it's really nice. How you doing? Very warm. I am taking a little break in the shade because I have been out right there on that chair for like two hours and I'm getting a little burnt. Almost halfway in the archive. I'm on page 155. I'm liking it. It's getting a little slow, so I want some action to start happening. Also, my dad has finished Lord of Shadows before me. He read it so quickly. That was two weeks ago. Yeah. I haven't, I'm not even halfway yet. You were still in Anaheim yeah, when I finished Yeah, I was at VidCon when he finished it. He just zoomed ahead of me. I need to tell you all that those white cheddar cheese that's right there taste like jalapenos. Tell me <laughs> if they actually taste like white cheddar or maybe my taste buds are all messed up. I don't know. Well, I actually slept last night unlike someone. I had them at like midnight, a proper time to eat Cheez-Its. Do they taste, don't they taste like, they mm -hmm. taste like jalapenos. Lies! I think they're mismarked. It is a few hours later. It is 2.30 p.m. We are back from the beach. I have been listening to the audiobook for The Gentleman's Guide, and I am more than halfway through. I'm really liking it so far. It's so funny, and I love how it's historical fiction slash adventure. It's a really interesting genre, and I kind of want more of these books. I kind of want this author to write from different historical periods. I still have not finished the archive. I kind of thought that I finished it, but I'm only like halfway through it. Oops. We got some lunch. I got a Mediterranean wrap, which is vegetarian and it's kind of like a Greek salad in a spinach wrap. Also after lunch, I want to reorganize my bookshelves. My dad actually built me new bookshelves. I'm going to have to take all of the books off my current bookshelves, move the bookshelves down to my dad's office, and then bring the new bookshelves into my room, and then put all of my books back on my bookshelf. So it's going to be quite an endeavor, especially because I am so tired right now, but I have my audiobook, and I am I'm fueling up. Time to take all of the books off of these bookshelves. They have served me well. I've had them for five years. They are the Billy bookcases from Ikea. He reaches into his pocket, the same artificial gesture he's been repeating every few seconds. from when I tried to hang up pictures on my bookshelf for some reason with tape because I was an idiot. And then I tried to cover it up with a whiteout. As you can see, that did not end well. Oh, the memories. Goodbye, my loves. No one will ever replace you. Just kidding. Hello, gorgeous. These are my new shelves. Look at this. I love this so much. We went to Home Depot and we actually picked out all the wood and the varnish that I wanted and all that and I 
I'd like to say that I helped. I helped a little bit, but my dad did like 95% of the work. I love these so much. So my background is going to be a little bit darker because I have wood shelves now and not white shelves. I'm not going to spend a lot of time reorganizing my bookshelves right now because we are in a readathon right now and I need to be focusing on reading. So I'm just going to throw all of these books onto the shelf and call it a day. I'm going to be honest with you, I have been having really bad cramps for the past like two hours. So I am going to make myself some nice tea and run myself a bath because this is painful. Look at this sweet setup. Yeah, living my best life. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better after that bath. That was exactly what I needed. It is 5.45 p.m. and I just finished The Archived by Victoria Schwab. So that is two books read during the readathon so far. I am like three quarters of the way through the audiobook for The Gentleman's Guide, but I want to read another book physically before the day is over. And I just saw the trailer for A Wrinkle in Time, which stars Reese Witherspoon, Oprah, Mindy Kaling, and a whole bunch of other people. It looks really good. And I realized that I have never read that book, which I thought I had. So this was shocking news to myself. Have you ever had that happen to you where you've just assumed that you've read the book and then you realize you haven't read the book? That's happened to me a few times, especially with children's classics. I just assume that I've read the book. So I think I'm going to head on over to Barnes & Noble to pick up the book. It's only like 200 and something pages. It's a children's classic. So I'm sure I can finish it tonight and I have to read it because I wanna see the movie. And you can't see the movie without reading the book. I mean, you can, and I have in some instances, but still. Also, this background, I'm going to have to take some time to adjust because it looks so weird. Where are we going? Planet 10. When are we getting there? Real soon. I was trying to go for Dora. Yep. Come on, Vominus. Everybody, let's go. <laughs> Come on. Get to it. I know that we can do it. <laughs> Where are we going? Barnes and Noble. I just walked in. It's 20% off and it's right here. That was a very efficient trip. <laughs> just like last time, I am at the graphic novel section, but will I get anything? Probably not. Actually, I really want to try out Miss Marvel. Ooh, where's Saga? I think I'm actually gonna buy Saga this time. Never mind, I'm gonna buy some books. Did you find any books? I did not. Why not? I want to finish the books that I already have. Ah, you're and, being wise about it, and unlike waiting, me. <laughs> and I'm waiting for, there is a new release of a uh, Rick Riordan book, but I would need to catch up on the series first. So. Yeah, my dad is caught up, well, almost. He's read way more of Rick Riordan's <laughs> books than I have. I have. <laughs> I've only read, um, Percy Jackson and like the first book of Heroes of Olympus. Finished all the Heroes of Olympus. And now I need to get through the Apollo series, I think is the next one. It was, <laughs> you need it a was read by Zoe that got, that's not true. What? Give me all the credit, please. I was going to say read by Zoe that, uh, that got me addicted to this, but I was reading long before this and this is how Zoe got addicted. Well, now you're just taking all the credit for oh, yourself. Sorry. How yeah, dare sorry. you <laughs> give your daughter the credit? Be a supportive dad. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so I found two books. I found A Wrinkle in Time and Saga Volume 1. I was going to get the first volume of Miss Marvel, but that was 18 bucks, and I'm not about spending that much for a graphic novel. No, you read them in like 
an hour. So I bought those two books. I bought Saga Volume 1 and A Wrinkle in Time. But at the last moment, I decided to run to the children's section to buy the first Captain Underpants story. I was obsessed with these stories. My sister and I were both obsessed with these stories growing up. I even tried to make my own comic at one point and it was that was a failure. Let's not talk about that. I have not seen the movie yet. Is it still in theaters? No. Dang it! My dad went into a store and I didn't want to go with, so I stayed in the car and now I'm going to start this bad boy. Ooh, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have stroked. <laughs> shouldn't have stroked that cover, Zoe. I'm really interested to see if I like it as much as I liked it when I was a kid. There's so many poop jokes and toilet humor jokes in this series and I thought they were hilarious growing up, but I think my, my humor has changed a little bit since I was in like second grade. Hopefully it did. So will I like it as much? I don't know. I just finished Captain Underpants and it was a lot of fun. It brought back so many memories from childhood. I got so many more of the jokes now. There are so many jokes that just go over your head when you're a child. And I forgot there were these flipporama things. I don't know if you've ever read a Captain Underpants book before, but basically there are these two pages that you flip between them and it looks like it's animated. And I completely forgot that was a thing. I used to love those growing up. I gotta wanna read all of them now. And you know what? I will because I'm an adult. I make my own decisions. This was technically my third book for Readathon by Zoe. Now I'm going to move on to A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Madeline Langle. Langle? L'anglais? I didn't take French. Is it a French name? I don't know. This is also a short children's book. <laughs> Look who is winning the Readathon by reading very easy books. <laughs> This girl, it is 8 p.m. There are four hours left in the readathon, and I'm fading fast. Uh, my eyes are closing by themselves, but I have to remain vigilant, constant vigilance. I have to finish A Wrinkle in Time. I also have to finish the audiobook. I just remember that I have not yet finished the audiobook. I have like two hours left, so hope. Hopefully I'll be able to get to that after I finish this. I'm only like 14 pages into it, but I already very much relate to the main character Meg because she seems very paranoid. I am also a very paranoid person, but she heard about this guy who was stealing sheets from this random lady and she hears noises around the house and she thinks that this criminal has come into her house with a knife and is going to kill her. I don't even know, but I have those same thoughts. Every time there is like a shadow outside or if I hear a creak in the house, I'm like, oh, this is it. I'm gonna die. It also may be because I've been watching a lot of Criminal Minds lately and that's all about serial killers. So I am like 99% sure. <laughs> That's the way I'm gonna go. I shouldn't say those things. That's not, I, I take that back. I'm going to live a long and happy life and I'm not going to be murdered today. No, sir. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm going to go read. See you later. It is 9.45 and I just finished A Wrinkle in Time. I really think it's going to be an amazing movie. I mean, the trailer already looks fantastic, but the source material can be adapted so well. It's a quintet. So five books are in the series. I didn't even know it was a series. If you've read the rest of the series, let me know how you like it. Should I continue on with the series? Should I not waste my time? Is the first book the best? Let me know down below. I'm going to go finally finish the audiobook for The Gentleman's Guide, and I think I'm going to paint my nails at the same time because I usually have nail polish on, so it feels really weird not having it on my nails. I just realized I haven't included my dogs in the video at all, so here you go. Here's Rascal, and here's Trixie. Oh my gosh. Stop looking so cute. Stop it. <laughs> You're stealing the spotlight away from me, Trixie. It is 11.56 p.m. and I just finished listening to the audiobook. That was so well planned. I'm pretty proud of myself. I honestly did read 
for 24 hours I didn't sleep at all even though I probably should have so much fun I read so much before starting this I was actually in a pretty bad reading slump and I w I was looking forward to the readathon but I didn't think that I would read that much because I didn't feel like reading but this completely took me out of my reading slump I just want to read everything right now well probably not right now because I am so tired, but when I wake up refreshed in the morning, it is now officially midnight. So, readathon by Zoe, my 24 hour readathon, round two finally comes to a close. That was an action packed day. I'm going to update you all in the morning to just talk about this past 24 hours because I'm so tired. I can't talk about it now because it wouldn't make any sense. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay? Okay, bye. Hi everybody, it's more than a week later because I did not realize that I hadn't filmed this update until now. The morning after the readathon or the afternoon after the readathon when I finally woke up, I was so disoriented. So here we are, finally filming the update. I read quite a lot and let's calculate how many pages I read. The first book I read was Always and Forever Lara Jean by Jenny Han, the third and final book in the To All the Boys I've Loved Before trilogy or the Lara Jean trilogy. I don't actually know what the name what this trilogy is, but it was 325 pages. Then I read The Archived by Victoria Schwab, my first Victoria or V.E. Schwab book, and it was 321 pages long. Then I read Captain Underpants by Dav Pilkey, and it was 138 pages, and what a book that was. <laughs> Next I read A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Le Engel. I just still don't know how to pronounce her name, but it was 232 pages long. And last but definitely not least, I read The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee, and it is 501 pages long, but I started on page 28 with the audiobook during the 24 hour period. So I read 473 pages. So down here somewhere is the number of pages I read during 24 hours, which is just a crazy amount. I don't think I've ever read that much in a day, ever. No, I haven't, because I haven't forced myself to read that much in a day. This much in 24 hours. I absolutely love hosting these 24 hour readathons because they inspire me to read so much and I love having people join me. So if you ever want to do one of these in the future, just let me know down below because this might turn into a semi-regular thing maybe every couple of months. This definitely got me out of my reading slump and for that I am so thankful. I am also so thankful to all of you who joined me in this. A lot of people joined me. A lot of my booktube friends joined me so thank you booktube friends. Several of them also vlogged their experience so I will leave their vlogs down below in the description. Thank you all so much for following me around for 24 hours. I love you all so much and I'll talk to you all soon in my next video. Bye!